evening, board members and our audience. Um, congratulations to all the students who were recognized as difference makers by our local Chamber of Commerce, Santa Ana Chamber of Commerce. Each year, the Chamber uh, selects a student from each of our high schools who has made a tremendous impact on their school and their community. So it's always a pleasure to attend that event because it's such a positive uh, collaboration and all the community comes out to to see what, what our students have been up to. Um, but in addition this year, we were able to be there to honor our outstanding educator, Century uh, High School counselor, our very own Miss Maria Vasquez, who has been acknowledged by several people, uh, several institutions this year in terms of her work and how she has impacted our school community and has helped students graduate into college or directly into the workforce. Mr. Palacio and Ms. Iglesias were able to attend that event, as well as all of our high school principals, many of our cabinet members, and, and the parents of our, of our honorees. So it was really a nice community event um, in which our students were highlighted. I want to also congratulate Willard Intermediate Principal Amy Scruton for receiving the Outstanding Arts Administrator Award and Spurgeon Intermediate School's own Karen Holland for receiving the Outstanding Middle School Vocal Music Educator of the Year Award from the Orange County Music and Arts Administrators Association. Ms. Scruton was selected uh, because of the impact she made at Willard uh, to engage students and teachers and families as well in creating energetic opportunities through the Turnaround Arts Program. Ms. Holland was selected because of the tremendous gift that she has given to so many of our students who've discovered their talent for vocal music and through her energy and through her passion. So congratulations to both of those award recipients. I'd also like to congratulate tonight Carr Intermediate School for receiving the Support Music Merit Award from the NAM Foundation. That is the National Association of Music Merchants. Uh, this award acknowledges the school's commitment to music education. Um, it is the first uh, intermediate school in our district, uh, CAR is, to offer the mariachi program. And this is one example of the innovation and passion of the staff to cultivate the arts in our schools and, and make the middle school years very formative. Uh, so we look forward to hearing more about the growing music program at CAR as well as uh, more innovative uh, mariachi programs throughout the district. Santa Ana Unified is also proud to um, report a successful accreditation visit from the Commission on Teacher Credentialing. We have a teacher induction program that is run by the district, and it is the purpose of the program is to designate support and to guide new teachers uh, as they complete their uh, clear credential, which is uh, the highest level of administrative credential. It's a seven-year accreditation process, and there's a, a panel of three program reviewers who not only review data that is provided to them, but they come out and do an on-site visit to really kind of dig in and do interviews in terms of what our programs are all about. And so the interviews that they did was representative of 11 different stakeholder groups as well as the uh, surveys that they took. So some of the highlights that came out of that process were that the program has a significant impact on candidate competence. So that means that our teachers are, have, um, the surveys show that candidates feel like this is beneficial to them in terms of their competence around teaching and learning. So they're getting better. This is a continuous improvement. And the administrators felt that they were a partner, a partner in this induction program with their teachers. So it helped build family and build uh, coherence in terms of uh, what we're doing in our school sites. So having met all of those program, uh, program standards, there was a unanimous recommendation for a seven-year full accreditation renewal. So that's the maximum years that we could have gotten through this process. And so I want to say kudos to the Office of Training, Induction, and Professional Support, all led by Dr. Marisol Riach. So congratulations for all the work that's gone into that process. Middle College High School also went through a mid-year review process in, in April of this year. 
um, they submitted a written summary. Now they went through the full accreditation process to uh, explore what was, you know, what their points of growth were going to be for accreditation. So now this is a mid-year review to see if they're on track to for their growth targets. And so as of uh, the visit and the report back, they are all on target for their progress that they're they're making on their action plans and so the team has was very pleased and the report came back very positively so middle college is, is moving forward with their accreditation process as well over the past five months our staff has been engaged in auditing and assessing our special education program we've been looking at items such as uh, delivery of service processes staffing levels, and compliance. Um, this has been a collaborative process with outside experts, teachers, administrators, as well as parent feedback. So our special ed department is using this information to make changes for the next school year that will yield better services for our students. We will also be using this feedback to make service enhancements to our programs uh, for the long term to ensure that our students get the services that they need and deserve. We are not cutting special education services. If anything, we're shoring up our system for the future. We're also engaged in staffing conversations at all schools and departments for next year. As the board and the community are aware, we are in declining enrollment, in a declining enrollment pattern. And our resources are also projected to, to decline over time. The goal of these conversations is not to cut resources across the district. It is to allocate existing resources and people where our students are projected to be. We've completed the first round of staffing conversations and there will be additional feedback to schools on next year's staffing. Ultimately, we're trying to develop a basis and a rationale for staffing going forward. This will provide us better trans transparency and explain how we're using and why we're using our, our resources the way we are. So we'll be able to go through that process and it's not complete, but it, it will be complete in, I would say, a few weeks and then we will be able to present that. So the next item is we've been working in partnership with UCI and OCDE, which is the County Office of Education, on a grant through the National Science Foundation. The grant is to integrate computational thinking curriculum into the upper elementary school grades. So that's grades three through five. Currently, we have several teachers working on the team to pilot the curriculum. And over the summer, the team will convene to evaluate the effectiveness of this pilot and determine how to spread the practices to additional classrooms. In our continued efforts to market SAUSD schools and to increase enrollment, the district will host yet another district-wide canvassing day on Saturday, May 12th, from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. All schools have been requested to compile teams of volunteers to canvas in surrounding areas that are close to their campuses or that are strategically placed throughout our system. High schools are encouraged to team up with feeder uh, intermediates and canvas together to promote both schools, both schools simultaneously. So that's coming up on May 12th. Coming up a little later in our agenda, the board will be asked to consider adopting a series of resolutions to dis demonstrate our sincere appreciation to staff. The following resolutions for consideration will include the National School Nurses Week from May 6th through May 12th, National Teachers slash Support Staff Appreciation Week from May 7th to May 11th, National Police Week from May 13th to May 19th, and Classified School Employee Week from May 20th through May 26th. So we have some of the best and brightest employees in our district who care tremendously about our students. And so we want to make sure that our community and our school communities understand what commitment we have to our, our staff. So we'll be asking the board to adopt those resolutions, and I'm sure that the board will wholeheartedly do as such. Additionally, we'll be asking the board to consider another resolution that will provide the district additional preschool classes in the district. This would support the board's priority with early learners and 
in providing more offerings for parents to provide preschool for part day and full day programs. So we continue on that work as well. And just in review, last Tuesday, our board and the board of Rancho Santiago Community College District met in a joint special session that was held right here in our boardroom. The meetings are in support of our mission, which is to ensure a well-rounded learning experience for all of our students and, and career in college. So some of the items that we were able to discuss included career pathways for our students at uh, Santa Ana College, dual enrollment and adult education programs, as well as joint facilities and land use uh, policies. We generally hold these meetings every quarter to ensure that we keep the lines of communication open and we implement uh, successful projects for collaboration. Another uh, review is upon approval of the board, the district will be offering an early retirement incentive program to certificated non-management employees, those who are able to retire at the end of this school year. To date, there are 121 certificated employees who have expressed interest in participating in the incentive. And if the board approves this, the incentive will help us to adjust our staffing in relation to a projected declining student enrollments. And lastly, we continue in our series of spotlighting a, a school each board meeting. Tonight we will highlight Jackson Elementary School and hear the, school's community, the school community's own words and what makes them so unique. So please take a look at the screen. Jackson Elementary School is uh, located in Santa Ana, California. We are a transitional kinder through fifth grade school, and we also have Head Start. We are about a thousand strong, a thousand students, and we have a very diverse staff that is very dedicated to teaching our students. I've been at the school for going on 18 years, and um, I've never once thought about leaving because of our amazing staff here. Um, we're really like a family, and um, we work hard together across all grade levels to really ensure strong instruction for our students. I had great experience with all my students. We have kids from all backgrounds, learning disabilities, English learners, and socioeconomic. They're fun, just they're fun to work with. I love my teacher because she teaches me um, science, reading, math, and writing. We have a great science program here at Jackson School. We have one of the highest scores in the district. We're always either first or second place. The teachers go through this rigid training and they go back and they apply it. And our students are the ones that, that get the benefits because uh, they, there's really strong emphasis on science as well as technology. We have a college theme and you could learn what we could do after high school and I like it because you, got to, to, you have a chance. I just, I just love when the students come back after being gone for a few years and they tell me, Jose, you know, I'm in college now. I remember what you used to tell me. I remember you always told me to stay in school. We are a no excuses university. You have to apply. It's pretty rigorous. And we have a strong emphasis that every one of our students are going to, to college um, or they're going to have a strong career by the time they exit. I have never gotten a no for anything. If I have an idea, they say, okay, well, let's try, let's see if it works or not. And vice versa, if they ask me to do something, I'm here. You know, if I, you know, if I can't do it, I say, you know what, I can't do it right now, but I'll come back and do it later. They have a very strong voice in the direction of the school. So that's really, it's wonderful to see the partnership. We try to welcome parents, make them feel welcome here, and they are, you will always see parents on our campus. Dr. Rodriguez, this concludes my report this evening.